In this video, I'm going to show you how to keep your gradebook using Google Drive. Google Drive is a great way to keep this kind of information because it's all kept securely in the cloud, and yet you can access it from many different places. You can access your gradebook in Google Drive from your home computer, from your work computer, even from a personal device like an iPhone or an Android phone. So this is a good way to keep your grades handy and yet secure. To create your file, click on Create and select Spreadsheet. Google Drive will immediately create a spreadsheet for you. Now name your spreadsheet. So click on Untitled Spreadsheet and enter the name. I always start with the semester name, followed by the name of the course, and then followed by the time the course meets. Then click OK. To enter your roster information, first set up headings. Column A, you can use your first name. Just click on the first cell here and type in first. Column B, last name. Column C, I'm going to save for grade. And column D, I'm going to enter student ID. I'm also going to save row 2 and leave it blank for now. It is possible to delete and insert rows and columns later, but I want to keep this as elementary as possible. So now I'm going to enter all the names of my students. Click on the cell that I want to enter the information into and then enter the, the name. After you're done, either click enter or use the cursors keys to go on to the next cell. I'm going to click the right cell here to go to the last name. When you hit enter, it will take you to another cell. Again, I'm going to use the cursors to enter my student ID and now go down to the second student and enter this next student in the same way. First name Arnold, right cursor, last name Horshack. And now, set up headings and columns. To do this, click on View, select Freeze Rows, and freeze the first two rows. Then, click on View again and freeze the first three columns. That's for first name, last name, and grade. If you want to sort your data, as you can see here, this is not in order. To sort your data, click on the column that you wish to sort by. In this case, I want to sort by the last name. Click Data and select Sort Sheet by Column B, A to Z. And now you have a fully sorted roster. To enter grades, type in what the grade is for in the first row of a new column. So for example, let's suppose that the students took exam one. Click on the top row in column E, enter exam one, and then hit enter. And now go to the individual cells and enter the grades. For example, let's suppose that Vincent earned a 95, Judy earns a 100, 
1 or 75 and so on. If you'd like to calculate the average, that's what this row was saved for. The formula to use is called the average formula. So you would first type in an equal sign, then type in the word average without a space, and then open parentheses. and then highlight the cells that you want to take the average of. Then close parentheses and hit enter. That's why we have this row here, so we can keep track of this kind of information. If you'd like to format this number, click on it and then go to the numerical format icon and select the format that you'd like to use. To enter attendance, go to a new column, the top cell, and enter the date. For students who are here, enter a 1. Students who are absent, enter 0. And then students who come in late, enter something like 0.5. So for example, let's suppose that all of the students are here except for Rosalie. Now I have a record. If you'd like to keep track of the percentage of students who came, take an average equals average open parentheses, highlight the cells, close parentheses, and hit enter. And again, you may wish to format this so that it looks a little nicer. I clicked on the percentage icon. 83% of students were in class on September 14th. To add a comment, simply right click on any cell and select insert comment. Then type in the comment. The comment will appear whenever you select a cell and also there will be a little triangle in the corner indicating that there is a comment here. Before we can calculate the grade, let's assume that there is one more assignment. I'm going to go to the next column and call this Homework 1 and enter the grades for all of the students. You can scroll up, by the way, so that this spreadsheet can handle a pretty large number of students. When I enter grades, I, it's easier to enter numerical grades than to enter a letter grades, like A's and A minuses. So if Vincent Barbarino got an A, I'm going to give him a 100 rather than an A in the spreadsheet. It is possible to enter A, A minus, B plus, B minus, but that requires some more complicated formulas. So I'm going to simply enter numerical formulas. I'm all going to enter these as whole numbers, not as percentages, and that keeps things nice and simple. Let's say Judy got an 80. Juan got an 85, Arnold got a 20, Rosalie got a 90, and Freddie got a 70. Again, if I want to, I can calculate an average here. And of course, format it very nicely. So to enter my grade, let's suppose that the exam counts for 75% of the course and the homework counts for 25%. I'm going to need a formula to enter this grade. The formula goes like this, equals, then I select for Vincent, I'm going to do Vincent as an example, select Vincent 
exam one grade and then multiply it by the weight in this case 75 percent then plus click on the homework grade multiply by 0.25 and then hit enter and that'll give you Vincent's average based on your course's weighting. Then I'm going to click on that cell again, right click on it, and select copy. I'm going to highlight then all the other students' cells, right click on the highlighting, and select paste. And now all of the students' cells have been populated with their average grades. If by chance some of these grades change, then so too will the weighted average. Let's suppose that Arnold Horshack's grade is increased to 40. Watch what happens to his grade. It increases. When you're all finished, it's very important to Keep your, make sure that your data is secure. All changes are saved in Drive immediately. So all you have to do is close your browser and everything has been saved. However, it's a good idea to keep your data secure. Therefore, close the entire browser when you're finished. When you enter Drive information, if it's a public PC or it's a PC that other people may have availability to, do not save your password on the PC. Also, friendly tip, if your computer screen is shown to the whole class on an LED projector or the like, then be careful when you're accessing your gradebook that it's not being shown to the whole class. Thank you. If you like this video, please click like. If you use this or try something like it, please enter a comment. I would appreciate that. And my website is www.accountinator.com.